Hey what's up guys it's Aptrix here and what you are seeing right now is Windows 11 natively being emulated on my Android device with the help of Vectras Windows Emulator's latest update which is version 2.8.4 alpha build. In today's video I will be reviewing this and as you might be able to see I am using my IQ12 Android device to emulate Windows and everything is fully functional. Like let's take a look at the recycle bin which I had opened previously while testing it out. Now obviously as we are emulating and Windows OS it will take some time to load everything because it is very difficult to emulate a PC version of an operating system on a small Android device. And right here you can see the file manager is working perfectly fine. Well, I'll be making a dedicated video on how to run Windows 11 on Vectras VM emulator pretty soon. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification. With that being said, let's take a look at this brand new update. Alright guys, so on the official Vectras VM GitHub page, you'll be able to note some of the details that the Vectras VM version 2.8 which we'll be testing out in today's video is in its beta stages and the minimum requirements for it are Android 5 or about 3 GB of RAM and a good processor, preferably Snapdragon processors. If the OS you are trying to emulate crash, try with an older version of Vectras Simulator. So right here on its official GitHub page in the releases section you'll be able to see the debug testing build version 2.8.4 which has Windows 11 support and currently this build is not stable for now only ARM64 V8A build. Some of the fixes are written right here including adding hard disk type, keyboard and mouse parameters, adding required BIOS, fixed setup activity, fixed modifier section etc. As I have already set up the 2.8.4 build on my Android device, let me show you guys how to set it up on a different device which is my Xiaomi 11T Pro. So right here as you guys can see I have added this Vectras 2.8.4 build. Just go ahead and tap on the allow button. Now the setup procedure of the simulator has been changed a bit so when you open it for the first time you will need an active internet connection and wait until it has finished initializing. Alright, once the setup actually starts, you will notice lot of parameters which are being loaded. So about 188 things will be set up before you are good to go with using the vector simulator. So this process will usually uh, differ from device to device but for me it should take around 2 to 3 minutes. So just be patient until everything has been set up and the device which I am showing you guys this right now is my Xiaomi 11T Pro with Snapdragon 888 processor. So once the setup is complete, it will automatically restart the application and right here, first of all you will notice that the Vectras VM emulator's theme has been changed compared to the previous version 2.7 build. I do prefer this theme compared to the previous one because the sections are pretty minimal and everything is very easy to use. So if we just go ahead and tap on that three lines then we can head on towards the settings option. Let me show you guys the best settings for Vectra Simulator. Just go to the Q Emu section and in terms of memory, uh, set the memory or RAM according to the windows which you are trying to emulate. For example, 2 GB of memory should be good to go even if you try Windows 10. But if you want to use Windows 11 on this brand new update then you'll need to up the RAM by quite a lot. Uh, preferably 6 GB or 8 GB. Anyways, once you set the memory, just go ahead and scroll down. You can keep the uh, CPU model as Q Emu Virtual Machine. Let's scroll down in terms of CPU cores, set it to 6 cores and yeah those are going to be the best settings for Vectra Simulator. Once that has been done just go ahead and tap here and you can start importing your windows onto the Vectra Simulator. Like you see right here we can simply tap on the import button. Uh, so when you select the OS which you want to emulate on Vectra just go ahead and tap on it and then tap on import. Once you start importing it, it will take around few minutes depending on the windows version which you are trying to import. So you'll just have to be patient until it has successfully imported stuff. By the way Vectra Simulator developers are going to work on RPCS3 pretty soon and it will probably be added in Vectra Simulator. So that is something to look forward to. Nonetheless, once you are done setting up Vectra Simulator, you will see an UI like this where we will get our windows. We can just go ahead and tap on the settings option. We get two more options known as modify or export. But if you want to start right away then you can simply tap on the uh, icon and afterwards Vectra Simulator will start initializing the emulation process and immediately you will see an Windows logo and it will start loading up or booting up your Windows 11 on your Android device without using any kind of cloud gaming apps or RDPs. This will be natively emulated on your Android devices. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications if you want to see how to run Windows 11 video on Vectra Simulator. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.